His baby mom had passed away. Oh, I'm sorry we, to hear that. We was together. I stayed by his side the whole time. I, in my personal opinion, to stand behind a man watch cry over another woman, you got to be a strong woman, okay? I stood there and I did everything I was supposed to do. She had your back? Not really. What did I do? She was, that's what she was mad about because I was crying over her. That's a lie. The argument came from is I went to the funeral, but I didn't stay for the repast because I had to go to work. He didn't want me to leave him. And I'm like, I have to go to work. Not saying only that, he gets home, he's drunk, and he's arguing with me. I'm always drunk, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's arguing with me, and he's cursing me out again. So I put him out. He leaves. He goes wherever he goes. Girl inboxes me and says, your man's over here. Wow. I'm calling him back to where he at. He's not picking up. Three o'clock in the morning, he calls me on FaceTime. And then he turns the camera around, and she's sitting in the bathroom. Why would you do something like that? I mean, seriously, why? Okay. Why, why would you she, do that? She put me out. I ain't had nowhere to go. And you thought it was better to go to some other woman's house that was inboxing and messaging her to brag about her man being at that. I mean, first of all, the whole thing sounds <laughs> ghetto and ridiculous. <laughs> it's I ghetto. can't even believe that I am having it come out of my mouth. What kind of mess is this? You're a grown man. Why would you do some, some tacky stuff like that? It was with the T-shirt lady that made the T-shirts for his baby mom. Um, the funeral T-shirt? Yes, ma'am. Child, please. Wow. What in the world?